What's going on guys? So today, Epic Games released the Unreal Engine 4.26, which is I believe the second last update to Unreal Engine 4. Now I've been messing around with the beta, but today they announced and released the official version of 4.26. There's a lot of stuff. Now I waited until the official release to kind of make videos about it because I don't like making videos about the beta so much. I know I did one for the GPU light mass, but uh, what I'm gonna do right now is take a look at how the groom has been updated and upgraded in 4.26. Now, if you don't have 4.26 yet, go ahead and check it out. If you go to the library, click this plus sign, it should be right here, which I already have downloaded, so I don't have to do it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, open up 4.26 here. It's a lot of good stuff in here. So what I'm going to do is actually just create a new project. I'm going to go ahead and open up a game template here. And I'm going to go with third person so you can kind of follow along. Okay, so we're here now in the third person um, template. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and enable the plugin groom. So I'm going to enable both of these. And I'm not going to restart just yet. I'm going to go ahead and go to edit, project settings. And we're going to compute. Why is it not popping up? There it is. Skin. Oh, compute, not computer. Here you go. Support compute skin cache, and I'm gonna go ahead and restart. Okay, so we are back in um, Unreal Engine 4. So I'm gonna go to my content browser. I'm gonna go to the main, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just um, go ahead and import a hair that I had made for a project. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize it, and it is an Alembic file. So there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and import that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go open a mannequin character mesh and let's go ahead and open a female one. I'm going to go ahead and get closer here. I'm going to change my camera speed. Now it's really cool because they made it a little bit easier to work with groom and physics. Now before this update, it was pretty difficult and I thought it was really slow. I got a lot of crashes, um, but with a 4.26, you're going to see how smooth it is and it's really nice and fast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and double click this here. And this is the hair here. Oops. And if I turn on the solver setting, I can enable the simulation just like that, which is sick, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a new cinematic sequence. And I'm just going to leave everything by default. I'm going to add this mannequin to our cinematic sequence. Okay, female. And then what I'm going to do is drag and drop that hair that I have. And I'm going to scale it because it is a little bit smaller. So I'm scaling it, scaling it, and as you can see, <laughs> it's working really nice. And there's already physics in it with just literally one click that we did. The physics are on. Now before you had to go turn on Niagara and all that stuff, but with 4.26, that's literally, you just click that button and physics is enabled. So I'm going to turn off the snap. I'm going to go ahead and too much. Let's do three. Three is good. All right, so... Basically, I'm just lining it up on her head there. I'm going to go ahead and just move it down a little bit. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and parent this uh, to the mannequin. Now, I was trying to bind it, but I don't know. I, I was following the manual, and I, was I wasn't able to bind this to the skeletal mesh. So if I go right here, take the hair, and I'm going to go ahead and... Drag and drop it on top of the mannequin, and I'm going to put head. Okay, so now we're going to go to Sequencer, and we're going to load up a custom animation here that it comes with. And let's just do running. And I'm going to go ahead and make this, like, a lot. And just like that, if I press play right here, the hair is now animating with it. Now, how cool is that? Look at that. Pretty awesome, right? Now, another thing that I liked about this is they made editing the hair physics a lot uh, faster. So if we go here, you know, here's the hair. It comes in in a little, its own window now, which is super nice. Okay. So if I go to like strand parameters and I just increase to like 16, I'm going to save it. I just increase the strands. And let's go something drastic. Let's go to like 32. And you're really going to see it. There you go. See that? And then if I press play again, the physics is there. That's so cool. 
You know, that's... I mean, with CG stuff, one of the hardest things with character creation is hair. You know, so now all those talented people that know how to create hair, hopefully they'll get some business coming their way because this is good. Now, obviously, that's just ridiculous. And if I, uh, you know, move it in here in the view, look at that. That's animating. I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. So, yeah, um, this is a little preview on the groom system with 4.26 and pretty much how easy it is to get physics working um, compared to the previous versions. Uh, like always, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.